Hey guys, Monkey Man here, and I'm here to give you a short review on a product I kickstart funded, and that's the Genki Shadowcast, which just finished its funding, just been delivered, and I'm probably one of the first few people to review it. It is an alternative to a capture card, which many streamers use to record footage of consoles, and um, also to record footage of their uh, professional SLR cameras to use as webcam um, for their stream. So this is something that's pretty... Pretty much, I think it's going to be a hot topic, especially since it's such a good price point for what it does. Um, it literally is only this big. It's tiny, and I couldn't expect this to do much. I was just like, wow, that's actually small, and it fits perfectly in the Switch dock. So I've got the normal Switch dock here uh, with my D brand skin, which I'm not sponsored by, but I love the skin, so I used it anyway. And. After inputting in, it's only that big and only takes up that much real estate. And from that, it has a USB-C output, which you can do USB-C to USB-C, which is what comes in the box. And in the case of my desktop PC, it's USB-C to USB uh, 3.0, USB-A, and it works fine, no matter which you use. So, um, To explain it a bit more, it's a capture card, but you have to utilize... It doesn't turn into a webcam, it turns it into... Uh, it, something else, a data stream that can only be utilized by the Genki app. So the Genki app itself, you have to download it, that's it in the corner right there. And um, that will allow you to utilize the actual Genki tool once you connect it to a PC. So what I'm going to do is connect this up to the PC real quick with my Nintendo Switch and show you guys how it works. So I'm going to connect USB-C to USB-A, clips in, there you go, done. It's going to do some stuttering since there's no switch connected. And then I'm going to power it up. Put this switch in the dock. Turn it on. <laughs> there we have it. We've got a switch. Wow. I'm going to turn the volume down a bit on that. Just showing you, like, for the purpose, I'm just amazed by it already. This is me, this is my controller, and this is the response time. So, left, right, left, right, and movement as well. Forward, back, forward. It's barely any delay. That's amazing. I can't believe that. For something that's that tiny, I'm very much impressed. Okay, that's going to be awesome. That is actually going to be awesome. This is amazing for streamers. This is amazing for people that want to take their Switch out with them and plug it into a laptop. I've already tested it on my MacBook, um, and it works perfectly fine in the MacBook, so using that as a screen as well. Honestly, I think this is this is going to be a amazing little tool. Um, I'm very happy that I backed it on Kickstarter. It's one of those things that if you get an early bird offer, it's even more value because of that slight discount. Um, it's positioned at a very good price. You got to remember, capture cards are not cheap, and this thing is barely. I think it's like forty four dollars USD or something like that. I can't remember exactly the webs. So I'm just gonna pull up the website real quick and see the price. So that's gonna the official price after release is now. $44.99 US. That is amazing. That is so cheap for a capture card. I think this is going to blow people away. I think there's going to be a lot more people streaming off their consoles now, which is a big deal. Um, and we're going to see a lot more good content creators that were a bit limited before due to the budget constraint of entering into the streaming market. You can now get yourself a Genki Shadowcast from their website. If you didn't back it, and you still can buy it. Um, they do another shipment very soon. And that's it. It's up to you to do with what Oh, that's amazing. It feels so smooth. Attack. B. Y. B. Y. And slice. Okay, cool. Now, honestly, it feels like I'm playing the Switch straight off the TV or straight off the console. So this is amazing. My review is 10 out of 10 for this. I hope it doesn't break down. I'll give you guys another update maybe in four months. But for what it's worth and how much I paid for it, this 
is an amazing capture card. I can't wait to test it for webcams and um, webcam usage using an SLR um, and a few other little tests, but this is pretty much blown me away for first open review. Yeah, this is great. Hope you guys like the content. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the review. It's honest. It gives you kind of like a clear idea of like how amazed I am at this product, honestly. Um, I'm not sure exactly the frame rates it's putting out. I don't think it really tells you uh, what frame rates it's at. It doesn't feel like 60 frames all the time, but the game does, probably doesn't run in 60 frames. Oh! Yep. Yeah, it does. 1080p at... Okay, so it's 1080p at 30 frames a second, or in the mode I'm in now, which is more responsive, 720p at 60 frames per second. That makes sense. So that's why it feels like 60 frames per second. And obviously, if I turn it into performance mode, you get the the resolution mode, you'll get the set 1080p but with the 30 frames per second. I want to see if that makes a difference. Yeah, I can feel a little bit more lag, and, but not too much. I better go join the hunt <laughs> and just give this a real test. No, actually, even at 1080p, it's working amazingly. Fine, that is actually amazing. It's actually so sharp too. I'm surprised. It's actually, it's a little laggy at some points. I can feel a little bit lag on the 1080p, but the sharpness and just being able to get that full HD crispness is kind of like a little bit worth it. And it doesn't feel like too much of a trade-off in in the uh, delay. Oh. Easiest hunt ever. But honestly, I, I'm, I see this as being a ooh, as an amazing tool for streamers, amazing tool for content creators, amazing tool for just people that want it for enjoyable um, moments just on the run when you can't take a big screen with you but you want a bigger screen for your Switch and play it like comfortably in a seat not holding it, just like looking at a TV screen or looking at your desktop monitor, this is amazing. Okay, I can't, I'm just giving this too much of a good review, I, I'm not being critical at all. There is a small dip in frame rate when you change it to performance mode, but on, sorry, in onto resolution mode, but on performance mode it's, it's actually smooth as a butter, like I can't fault it. Let me go back to performance mode one second, so I can feel that. Yeah, that feels way more responsive. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, good things, very good things on this device. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it informative. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, comment down below what you guys think of the product and if you think it's a game changer in the, um, I guess, capture card industry. It's positioned at such a great price point. I know there's cheap um, capture cards that you can off eBay, but they usually have such a huge delay. I've tested one before. And it was like twenty, like two to three seconds um, delay on the actual gameplay to the from the input, and this is kind of like completely got rid of that kind of lag, but still kept it at a good price point. I think it's a game changer. I think it's going to bring a lot more people into the streaming world. It's going to, you know, help a lot of streamers get off the ground for a lot less. Okay, thank you guys for watching. This has been Monkey Man. Please, if you want to support the channel, just give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and um, comment down below. It's, uh, it means a lot when you do that. Thanks, guys. See you later.